What's good with it in the hood with it? Welcome back to the Collective Clips where you already know we get it in. But before we get it in, let's hit that like and subscribe button. Ding, ding, ling. Right? And put your notification bell on also. That way you're directed in the direction of the dope content I'm kicking. And I highly appreciate all the support. We're going up on this channel and it's all because of you. And for that, you guys already know. Disculpalme. I'm very humbled, right? So <clears throat> I wanted to talk about killer women from outer space, right? How down are women? Shit, man. A hey, hell has no fury like a fucking pinchy of yeha scorn, right? Like a woman scorn. If a woman feels some type of way, best believe she'll take the initiative to put something in you or cut something off of you. Mm, 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 mm. Now, the two women that are on the thumbnail, one of them was convicted for inflicting straight punishment to her fucking significant other, right? And the other one, mm, she was able to wiggle. I guess Beauty and the Beast overcame everything and she was able to wiggle on a case that a lot of people um, are like this about. Me, I'm like this. I'm up when it comes to that because I already know that bitch is guilty of sin. She wasn't convicted, so there's no paperwork on her. But I mean, hey, Ray Charles seen that one coming for reals, right? So I wanted to also talk about other women that I've known in my life that were just downtown Julie Brown just with the activities, the business, man. Some of them downer than the homies. Facts, right? Can't take nothing from a woman. Chowchilla, Valley State Prison for Women. These prisons in the state of California are filled with an abundance of women that will tear your whole jugular out. In fact, I have a couple homegirls locked up right now because what they were doing to paisas, man, is unimaginable. But it happens all the time in Northern California on the streets as well as Southern California. So we're going to talk about all that today. So anyways, let's go. Let's start with Jody Arias. Now, for those of you that don't know who Jody Arias is, of course, she was convicted for stabbing her boyfriend several times because he didn't want to be with her. You ever been in a situation like that when you're done? I mean, the, 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 the mom one was good, but it wasn't great. And so you've moved on in your life. You said, man, there's something about this chick that I just don't like. She texts 999 times a day. You flip it upside down. What does that tell you, right? So you're like, I'm good. There's just some things that when you first meet a woman, it's all good, man. It's fine and it's fine. She's fine as wine. It's fine and dandy. And then over time, you start to realize she's a little jealous. Um, she's pulling up wherever you're pulling up. You're trying to fucking chill with the homeboys in the weight room. And every time you go up, she goes up. Every time you go down, she goes down. There's just too much negative energy surrounding her. So you can't trust her. So just like anyone else, and it's vice versa for the women, you say, you know what? Let me. I'm not trying to hold on like in vogue. I'm trying to move on. I'm trying to move on like a soul to soul song, right? Let me keep on moving and you bounce. Okay, some women ain't going out like that though. They'll pull up to your job. They'll destroy your vehicle, shit bomb your house, all that. I've had it all happen. Believe me, I know. One time some chick came to my job, keyed my fucking truck. I was pissed. Came out like that. I was mad. I was, hey, I was mad at everybody's old lady for that one. And I knew who it was. I was hating women that day. I was, I was upset, right? Men are women's protectors, but God damn, we can only do so much when you got a crazy one on your shit. So anyways, Jody Arias was that one. You know, she felt like this guy was pulling away from her and she started to stalk him, started to do all kinds of crazy shit. And ultimately it ended up, he ended up in a shower with a whole bunch of puncture wounds, right? Um, it was a big case. It made national news and everybody was tripping on how a girl that beautiful, that pretty, that was a skunk and a half could do that. But most women that have low self-esteem and there's something wrong with them, they always got a fish to fry or a bone to pick, right? And she picked her bone. In fact, she picked his bone several times with a big ass knife. He wasn't seeing that one coming or expecting it, but shit happened. So ultimately, Jody Arias is a killer woman. She was con uh, convicted of her crimes and now she's doing all day, every day. She tried to use her beauty and tried to use her shyness and everything that she had to overcome the barriers of the trial, it didn't work. There was too much testimony, too many things she had done, too much, um, I guess, evidence was against her, and she's convicted. Is she at where she needs to be? Absolutely. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if I pulled up to a little spot and I seen Jody Arias, I'm trying to knock that shit backwards. I'm trying to fucking hit her with the game of Twister one time. Sass, right? That's just me. She looked that good. But don't let looks deceive you. See, that's what people do in this world is they base things on the outside of the book rather than reading it, right? You look at a woman's looks or women looking at men and they think, oh, they can't be that bad. Next thing you know, fuck, shut up, bitch. They're choking them out. Anyway, she stabbed this guy several times, man, and it was very, uh, a very gruesome scene. 
a very gruesome trial to follow, which I followed just because I tried to get any look, any shot at her ass I could. Um, but that's what that was. She is where she needs to be. Absolutely. There are some women, just like there are some men, that are better off incarcerated. Now, I don't wish incarceration on anyone because it sucks. Ultimately, being in prison sucks. Chorra. But there are those that you just can't trust. And maybe the segregation from society is what they need to either get their shit together or just protect the people that are out here trying to rock the right way. That guy didn't deserve that. Whether he cheated on her or he was fucking, you know what I'm saying, he did it a little rough or what he did it like this with a wiffle ball bat. So um, she did him like a beastie boy. She Paul revered him. And that was, that was an ugly situation. So her ass sits where she needs to be. And again, I'm sure just like any of these other serial killers or crazy people, she has a whole bunch of a gaggle of dudes trying to get at her like, hey, what, what's that hit for? Well, you already know what it hits for. She was a hoe that didn't want to be a housewife and uh, turned his ass out in the house, right? It was all bad. So now we go to Casey Anthony. Tawanga pinchy Casey, right? I hate these type of women. Okay, I'm not a hater on women, but I don't, I, hate's a strong word. I shouldn't use that, right? I dislike these type of women. The women that are quick to give their kids Benadryl and melatonin and leave their ass asleep while they go out clubbing. You know, I've ran into those type. I told you guys a story a long time ago. You know, I was at the club, kicking back with the homeboy. We knocked this chick. I knocked this chick. He didn't knock shit. He was just here by proxy, right? But I knocked the chick. She had a little white friend, so he was like, shit, I like Oreo cookies dipped in white milk, right? So he was going to get his on. We get to her pad, and then I start seeing all kinds of little baby kids, cockroaches, kids, and bed bugs out of nowhere, right? I can deal with the bed bugs and the roaches. Roaches are my familia, and I can deal with the bed bug just because I went through that epidemic twice in my life. But a whole bunch of baby kids is not my stilo, right? She didn't tell me she had a whole bunch of fucking kids. I mean, I figured because the pussy was that fat that she probably had a few kids. But I thought maybe the mother-in-law or maybe the baby daddy was watching them. You know, um, when they all started springing out from the fucking bushes. And I asked the kids, hey, where's the adults? And there was no adults. And she had gave her kids Benadryl and left them there. Yeah, I had to move on. Sorry. Had to move on again like a soul to soul song. I couldn't do it. And I told her straight up, she said, why are you leaving? You don't want none of this? No, hell no, I don't want none of that. And I don't want none of those either. That's why I ain't fucking with you because you ain't going to leave my kid in the fucking crib at two and bounce. Nah, those type of women I've always been disgusted with because these are the women that show, no, they're not great mothers. Okay, I wasn't the best of a father, um, but I've changed now. Now I try to pay attention a little bit more. You know, so I can't, I can't be a hypocrite and say, oh, they're bad because they do this, but men that fucking leave chicks and fucking go in and out of prison are not just as bad because it's the same bullshit, just a different version of it, right? Um, but I don't like it. Well, Casey Anthony's that chick, that one, okay, got the looks, out there wiggling at the clubs, utilizing her parents to babysit all the time. Here, it's your grandkid, watch it. I'm a grandfather. I got two grandkids. What? You guys didn't know? Says so guy, the best looking grandfather you ever see, right? But I am a grandfather with two children. And I'm going to tell you right now, two grandchildren. Um, a grand, a grandparent's job is not a job. That's when you get to enjoy. You already raised your kids. Your part now is, hey, you play at the little fuckers and then here, take your kid. I'm gone, right? You don't have to worry about that shit. It's not your responsibility. It's now your child's child. So, Davis K, you could have the fun and then I'm gone. There goes the gun. That's it. But there are those women that will utilize, and even men that will utilize their mothers and their fathers that are already old, that have been through the fucking trenches, right? Here, fucking, I don't, what do you want me to do with this one? I don't know, burp them. I'm gone, right? They want to go out clubbing. They're too interested in men and, and being social and drinking and kicking it. You know those type of chicks that want to go out every fucking single night? Bitch, the party is over. Stop. Well, what do you want to do tonight? I don't know. I want to kick back, watch Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory and get him I'm on. Well, I, I, I want to go have a drink. Well, then bye. That's usually how they do it. So Casey Anthony, her case was a little bit more intricate and detailed because her daughter drowned in a pool. Allegedly, right? Her daughter um, passed away, but not on her watch. She was out and her daughter wasn't in. Okay, a little baby, a little girl, Kaylee. And I remember this story hit national news and I was very interested in it. My prima used to watch it on the ID channel every fucking day. So I'd slide to her house to get my mom from her roommate and I'd watch it with her. And I'm telling you, this is true stories. This chick, um, you could just see the guilt written all over her face. But because of who she was, her looks and the type of people that she was affiliating and associating with, 
Somewhere, somehow, some Bawoso lawyer was able to present just enough evidence to get her out of the mix to say that she was innocent, that she wasn't liable. They found lie all over the baby. They found the baby buried. They, I mean, there was just too much going on, too many clues. And this woman, the thing that I think helped her out the most was the fact that she was dating a police officer at the time and she was seen in several pictures at the club over there fucking doing the fucking twerk. That officer was over there fucking hand on a pistol, trying to rock it like a missile, right? He was doing his thing. And because I think that she was dating this officer, they didn't want it to bounce back and double back on the police department and look bad on his part because he's out there with the tirada. Hey, ain't no fun if fucking officer howdy duty can't have none, right? She shot the sheriff and the sheriff didn't shoot the deputy. All I know is this. She was definitely dirty in the game, but she was able to bypass a conviction. There's still people to this day that think that fucking Piruha is guilty. I, I know she's guilty. I can look in a person's eyes and see guilt. Okay? When she's questioned, her eyes do that. Right? She starts fucking... She did something to her own child. No remorse. No nada. She's too busy wanting to go out. And as soon as her conviction, she wasn't convicted... Um, she was found not guilty. First thing she did was went and party. Wait up, my back is just talking about that bitch. She's like a bed bug that just wants to bite me. Um, but true stories. There's so many different women that do these types of things that get away with these situations. And I honestly truly believe that Casey Anthony is one of them. Now on the flip side, Jody Arias didn't get away with that shit. You know, that's because that guy was involved. He was a Mormon. He was in the Mormon church. And one thing about the Mormons, you don't fuck with them because they stick together like peanut and butter, right? So her going against the church was kind of a sticky situation and a tricky situation. Now, as far as Casey Anthony goes, again, like I said, I think it had something to do with who she was dating and what she was doing. Her parents were pretty adamant that she was innocent. There was a lot of people that stuck up for her because she cried wolf. She fucking batted her eyelashes. Pretty women are able to manipulate people. I'm not easily manipulated. I've always been of the understanding the finer they are, the fucking flaws they got, right? I just know what's up. Same thing goes with the men, man. You know, we're out there fucking letting our shit swing. Best believe our fucking house is filled with cockroaches and empty bottles of Captain Crunch. It's just, there's always something wrong in the situation. Now, there are killer women um, that have never been caught. I have two homegirls and I wanted to tell their story since we have time. They're right now, both of them, in Valley State Prison for women. Okay, locked up. Throw away the key. Now, what these women chose to do was something that a, a family member of mine done before. Um, so I wanted to kind of speak on the situation without throwing my family member under the bus because they they did the same shit. So this was pretty known in the, in the early 90s, the mid 90s. One of the hustles in Northern California, and I'm sure in Southern California as well, was the setup. Women setting men up. See, now it's easier. Now you got social media. You know what I'm saying? There's been plenty of situations where they told Valtos they pull up, Valtos pull up, and they have dudes there to jack them, lay them down, man. In some cases, even kill them. Well, my two homegirls decided that they were going to take advantage of the paisitas, the paisas, right? The Mexican nationals. Valtos that struggles, toiled in that soil all week long for that fucking $450 check it, right? But you know these Vatos, the Paisas, they like to fucking wear the shirts that come down to here. Throw on some Antonio Banderas, a few Cajenas, so that's got a nice hat and some ostrich boots. And vamanos, let's go knock a fat girl, a fat white girl at the fucking club. Right, so there are, he was, these Paisas used to go get their Los Buki on in a place called La Bahia in Merced. Okay, it was the spot where, it was their bar. I went there a couple times, I told you we had a couple issues, right? But um, this was their spot. Everybody in Merced knows it still pops on Main Street, just is what it is. Um, it's a tight little club, man. Bocanas, pineapple juice, cocaine, and fat white girls. That's what you'll see there. So anyways, um, what these chicks would do, my homegirls, is they would lure them to a to a, uh, a hotel that they had already rented. And they'd tie them up and rob them. You know, and these guys, time after time, you know, were falling for it. They were falling for the okie doke. You know, a drunk off on cocaine wants any type of pussy he can get. I know. I've been there, right? So it just is what it is. They'd wait to the end of the night. Have these guys buy them a whole bunch of drinks, do the Bill Cosby with the Jello pudding pop, and take them back to the motherfucking uh, spot and, and lay them down buck naked. Wait till they got buck naked and they're taking all gold chains, boots, and bundles, right? They were gone. Well, because they were doing it so many times, one of the Pisces was hit. You know, he realized, hey, these are probably the chicks, because, you know, a lot of these Pisces would be like, hey, what the heck? 
¿Por qué? Right? What happened? I don't know. These two fat chicks fucking got me in a hotel. One of them got me in the pretzel. And the other one, after she was done giving me a mamon, because she had to get hers, she robbed me, right? Um, so the story was out there. So when they tried to do this, this fucking Vato wasn't dumb. He was up on game. So he was real skeptical when he went in this room with these two women. But of course, man, immediately they got him to bust down, strip down. They did their thing. And they got to fucking having one ball each, right? Now, at the same time, this Vato was strapped up, right? He was strapped up and he kept that motherfucker tucked. So when they try to make their move, he pulled out the cuete, said, ah, hell nah, give me your shit. You know, Tawanga anyways, I didn't come in here for this, right? You know, so he started to lay them down. He hit them with the reverse psychology and one of the homegirls was able to bomb on him, get the cuete, they blew his shit off, right? And now they're both doing life in prison because of that. Killer women. Women that have that instinct to go out there and do dirt. There's a lot of them. You know, um, I've talked about my Tia Lupe in the past. She was one of them women. Someone nobody on earth wanted to fuck with or play with. One of those women that was doing life on the installment plan, in and out of prison constantly, didn't care, was like a grown man on the streets, was punking dudes, beating dudes up. You know, I can't, let me tell you. So my Tia, man, rest in peace, I love her to death, right? Literally was really about that bad, all right? She was in the, the black game, the dope game. She was slinging black her whole life. A user and a slanger, right? So she had literally a badass pad. I remember she had money, um, but she had workers that would work for her. Guys that were tecatos that actually lived with her, they, they did everything. She never touched the dope. All she touched was money. She was smart. She had her shit down pat, right? But don't play her. Don't try to play her out of pocket, skip some shit off the top. She'll fuck around and beat you to death, right? That's her style. That's what she was. She was feared as being that one. My Theo was no joke. A true gangster. Probably the most gangsterous member of my family there ever was. And it was a chick. That should tell you, right? So anyways, where I lived in Merced, she lived in Winton. It's a small town outside of Merced, about five miles away. Um, I didn't have a car at the time. The struggle was real. I had roaches, but no car. Go figure, right? The life of a fucking real fucking bottle from the bottom. So she would have one of her workers come pick me up at six every morning to drive me to the Dole Company is where I worked, right? Which was a fruit company in Atwater. So he would be there like clockwork because if he didn't get there and pick me up, guess what happened that day? He didn't get well. And let me tell you about a tecato. If they're not well, they get headaches. They're all fucked up, right? Bars hanging out of their shit. Mocos in their nose. I got a headache, hey. Let me borrow 10 bolas. Undimo, undimo, right? Like my fucking Theo Tupac does. Hey, hey. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, give it all you got, get, get, give it all you got, right? So, he would get well. My Theo would make him give me a ride every day in her whip, and then get he'd get back, she'd get him well. Everything was everything. Well, one day, I don't know if he got a flat tire, at the ignition, just something happened, he wasn't there. And I'm stressing like a Smith & Wesson old privileged ass motherfucker with a silver spoon in my mouth, right? But... You're fucking with my livelihood now. Oh, I'm late for work? I'm one of them guys, I'm always an hour early. I can't be late, right? I got anxiety about being late. No, no locked doors, I'm gonna be late. So this bottle pulls up about 15, 20 minutes later. I'm already on the phone, my tia. Hey, where's the fuck is this fool at? She's like, that motherfucker, you slap the fuck out of him when he gets there. I'm like, I can't do that. He got there, I slapped the fuck out of him, right? I was pissed. I'm sorry, I did about that much. Right, so he gives me a ride. He gets back. She put him on the shinyada for three days, right? Made him come pick me up. That fucking bottle shaking, trying to drive. I'm like, hey, you want me to drive? She don't want no one to drive her car, right? <laughs> that's the type of woman she was. It's unfortunate that she did him like that, but that's part of the game. That's the game he chose to be in. And uh, thank God it was my tia that was the one that was slanging, right? So I'm just saying killer women are all around. Never judge a book by its cover. You know, um, let me tell you what happened. So my homegirl, I can't even call her a homegirl. She gave me a mom one or two, right? I would more, I call her a friend with a whole bunch of benefits, right? She um, is a good girl, but her problem is she likes these dating apps. I always tell her, if you just want to suck children, all you got to do is knock at my door. You don't have to go on these fucking Tinders and all that. No, 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 no. That shit's bad. If you ever are in need, just call on cabron and I'll be right there. I promise you. But she wanted to taste the rainbow, so she wanted a little taste of some, of, of some, you know, she wanted a black bottle. Sorry, Woods, she wasn't into coffee, right? She was into the color of coffee, so she wanted a, a black bottle. Mm -hmm. Her mistake, right? So she calls, uh, she's chopping up with this dude, and he tells, he tells her, hey, meet me over here. 
first date shit. So she goes to meet him. The skonka, I should call her that, right? The tirada had fucking her rent money in her purse. Why? I don't know. Put it in the bank, bitch, right? But she had her money in her purse. And she pulls up, and it's this black vato with a, he's a pimp dude, and he's like, got a gang of chicks, and them chicks fucking beat the dog shit out of the homegirl, smashed her, took all her rent money, everything, I had to loan her some money that I didn't even have, you know, what I'm saying is, women are just as dangerous as men, women like Casey Anthony that get away, but you know they're dirty, women like fucking Jody Arias that'll stab you over a hundred times, and not even blink an eye about it, and then blame you, um, because you used all the hot water, and then you got fucking women, like they said, that are quick to leave their children uh, unattended and by themselves because they'd rather be in a man's mix. And then, of course, you got those women like my homegirls and those chicks that it's all a setup. Their whole thing is to milk a man for what he's got. Instead of giving him a little honey love, nah, this ain't an R. Kelly song. They want to fucking piss on him. I like R. Kelly. It's crazy. Anyways, with that being said, man, let me know what you think. Do you really, truly, honestly believe Casey Anthony is innocent? Tell me why. Give me rhyme or reason. And Jody Arias, we already know where that bitch is at, right? Hey, imagine being the CEO walking past her cell. She's the type that should be fucking doing her shit while she walked by, right? Trying to get you for a frow. I'll be watching. I'll look, though. I'll, I can't lie. You know what I'm saying? It's legal. Anyways, with that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. Get every single thing that you want coming. And remember, at the end of the day, don't trust nobody. You know, oh, man, I've told stories. I've had women try to set me up. I already know. I'm up on game. Any chick that tries to get at me on the phone, hey, what's up? We should kick it. Shit. Mm -mm. I can smell that shit through the phone. You already know what it is. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears this crown. I'm going to continue to strive, struggle, and struggle, and strive for what I truly believe in. If you want me to talk about uh, 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 something, ask me a question, whatever it is, I, I will try to make that happen. That's what I do right here on the collective clips, man. This is just a clip and a glimpse into prison life and fucking life as crazy as we know it. You already know what it is. So again, let me know what Casey, what you think about Casey Anthony. Innocent or guilty or lucky? I don't know. Bang, bang. It's the gun.